Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that's as fascinating as it is speculative. What would a dinosaur taste like? Now, before we get into it, let me just say no. I haven't been time traveling, and no, I haven't been grilling T-Rex steaks in my backyard. But with a mix of science, a dash of imagination, and a pinch of humor, we can cook up some pretty educated guesses. So, let's sink our teeth into this prehistoric question. First off, let's tackle the big, meaty part of the question, literally. If we were to dine on dinosaur, we'd need to consider which type we're talking about. Dinosaurs roamed the Earth for over 160 million years and came in all shapes and sizes, from the towering Brachiosaurus to the chicken-sized Microraptor. But for simplicity's sake, let's focus on two broad categories, the carnivorous theropods, like the T-Rex, and the massive herbivorous sauropods. Starting with the theropods, these guys are the closest relatives to modern birds. Yes, that's right, birds are living dinosaurs. So in a way, if you've ever eaten chicken, you've had a distant cousin of the T-Rex. But before you start calling your chicken nuggets dino bites, it's worth noting that theropod dinosaurs were likely much gamier than your average poultry. Think of the difference between a farm-raised chicken and a wild pheasant or turkey. Now amplify that gamey flavor, and you're probably getting closer to a T-Rex thigh. And let's not forget, T-Rex was a predator, so its muscles would have been lean and tough from all that hunting, possibly similar to the dark meat of an ostrich, which is known for its rich, slightly beefy flavor. Now, on to the sauropods. These gentle giants were the vegans of the dinosaur world, and with their massive size, you'd expect their meat to be more like that of large herbivores today, such as cows or elephants. However, without the marbling of fat seen in domesticated animals, sauropod meat would likely be much leaner and tougher. If we're looking for a modern comparison, think of bison or venison, but perhaps even leaner. Cooking this hey, meat would be a challenge, You'd probably need to slow roast it for hours to make it tender, kind of like preparing a tough cut of beef. And let's be honest, a Brachiosaurus brisket sounds like it could feed a village for long. <laughs> but here's a fun thought. What about the flavorings? Considering the vast array of plants that dinosaurs ate, which are no longer around today, could some dinosaurs have had a unique herbal or floral flavor profile we can't even imagine? Maybe dining on certain herbivorous dinosaurs would come with built-in seasoning. Of course, all of this is purely speculative fun. The closest we can get to tasting dinosaur is by eating their closest living relatives, birds and, to a lesser extent, crocodilians. Yes, believe it or not, alligator and crocodile meat is eaten in some parts of the world, and it's often described as a cross between chicken and fish. So, maybe a Spinosaurus, which is thought to have been semi-aquatic, might have offered up a similar flavor profile. In closing, while we can't exactly fire up the grill and throw on a dino steak, we can use our understanding of science, evolution, and modern analogs to make some pretty educated guesses about what dining on dinosaurs might have been like. Whether it's the potentially chicken-like taste of a small theropod or the lean, gamey flavor of a massive sauropod, one thing's for sure. It would be a dining experience 65 million years in the making. Thanks for tuning in, folks. If you enjoyed this prehistoric culinary adventure, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more fun, speculative science content. Until next time, keep those imaginations hungry and stay fascinated.